Hi, Bruce Jones here for uh, Maps for Design, and this morning in uh, Cartographer's Corner, we're going to talk a little bit about a Flemish cartographer, and he is Jokaius, Jodikaius, Hondius, H O N D I U S, Hondius, something like that. Um, born 1563 and died in 1612. He's a Flemish cartographer, an engraver, and an artist. Here we have a picture of him right here. It's pretty cool. He's got his uh, little calipers. He's got a globe. He's a fam pretty famous uh, uh, cartographer. He's got that cool thing around his neck. It's kind of hard. I don't know how people survive with that uh, sort of fancy collar, his jacket. Um, it's a pretty neat thing. He grew up around Ghent in Flanders, and uh, that's where he established himself as an instrument maker and, a cut and an engraver. In uh, 1584, he moved to London to escape uh, religious difficulties in Flanders and uh, established himself there. So here we have this map. This is the map that, uh, one of the maps that uh, Odias is famous for. This is commemorating the voyages of Sir Francis Drake, basically from uh, 1577 to 1580, and uh, of his voyages around the globe, circumventing the globe. Uh, Sir Francis Drake is a very famous uh, English buccaneer, privateer, um, slave trader during the reign of Queen Elizabeth. Uh, he went out around 1577 with a few ships, had some problems, came back, and uh, went all over the place. Uh, along, mostly along the western side of South America and North America in the Spanish-held territory, and eventually establishing a, um, a small colony at the Nova Albionis. Something A-L-B-I-O-S. Let's bring that up on our map here so you can see it. It's right here in the corner. And uh, here we go. We'll get that up here. Some think that this was actually located in Vancouver, in uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. So here we have a small picture of it, A-L-B-I-O-N-I-S. Here's his boat. And if we sort of move down the map, we have all kinds of great details here. You can see there's some fruits and vegetables in here. Map makers often put um, all kinds of plants and animals from the areas that uh, they were drawing. Uh, often they didn't know what they were what these areas looked like, and we're just going from the journals that came back from the explorers. So if we come down to the bottom here, we have another cool little sort of vignette drawing. And there's a boat and uh, some small boats with oars pulling them in. We move our way along the bottom. There's a neat one right in the middle. Maybe this is Sir Francis Drake's main boat. I'm not sure, but uh, looks pretty cool. And we go over to the side here. We have a boat that's, or a ship that's been, looks like it's cast up on the ground. So that's not good. Had some troubles. And these maps are filled with all kinds of cool things like this. I love this kind of stuff. These um, sea creatures way out here. No one really knew what was going on out there over the edge, even though um, we had Columbus had already done his thing. So let's come back up here to the top so you can see all kinds of parts of the map. Let's get this back up to full size. So um, Hondias also went, um, he's very famous for. Uh, republishing and bringing back Mercator's uh, famous atlas of the world called Atlas and he added oh, a fair number of plates to it, something like 36 plates to the book, republished it under his um, under his firm and uh, but kept credit for Mercator to his credit, that was great, great thing to do. Uh, 1593, he did that when he moved to Amsterdam in 1593 where he remained for the rest of his life and his life went till uh, 1612. So that's a little bit about uh, Jukai. Let's get him up here. This gives me the last picture of him. Here he is again. A little bit about his life, 1563 to 1612. So thank you very much for joining us this morning at uh, World of Maps, mapsfordesign.com and bjdesign.com, where we have our editable maps for PowerPoint, Illustrator, uh, world, U.S., countries, uh, states, counties, all kinds of stuff. Easy to edit and customize for your presentations, illustrations, graphic design, websites, uh, education, whatever you want to do. That's it. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.